Vance also faulted uh, the Biden administration for, as he characterized it, making it easier to pretend that economic migrants are asylum seekers. I never heard of them referred to as economic migrants. Hmm. Pretend that economic migrants are asylum seekers. This is the end of the American dream. If we let this stuff happen, we've got to reelect Donald Trump and we've got to get congressional Republicans with some spine to push back against the stuff. In a statement to Fox Business on the shuttering of the uh, Iowa factory, a, a Tyson spokesperson said the closure emphasizes our focus to optimize the efficiency of our operations to best serve our customers. Hmm, that's interesting. And it says Perry, Iowa uh, Mayor Dirk Kavanaugh told Rutgers that the Tyson plant was the largest employer in the area and that it would be tough to figure out what to do without them. The migrants hired in New York will reportedly go to work at the Tyson plant in Humboldt, Tennessee. In closing to this particular episode, we're going to look at yet another um, article on this particular topic. It's from the DailyWire.com, uh, and it says Tyson Foods hiring illegal migrants in New York wants more. And then in quotation marks, it says they're very, very, very loyal. And I believe this was um, published, I want to say Friday. Um, and it says the company has already hired dozens of migrants who obtained work permits. It says Tyson Foods is hiring a number of illegal immigrants who recently arrived in New York. Tyson, which is known for its chicken products and owns brands, okay, like Jimmy Dean and Hillshire Farm, has already hired dozens of migrants who obtained work permits and is looking to hire many, many, many more, according to Bloomberg, okay, which was the one that we went to, but they wanted to charge, so no, I'm not paying. I'm not paying. I want the information, but uh, sorry, Bloomberg. Okay. Now, the meatpacking company is working with Tent Partnership, which they mentioned before, uh, Tent Partnership for Refugees, which was founded, oh, now, it's a particular yogurt company. I cannot say what their name is, but I have seen their yogurt. Chobani? Chobani? Chobani yogurt. Uh, I don't think I've ever tried it, though. And it was founded by the owner or the founder of this particular yogurt company to hire some of the recently arrived migrants in New York. Now, on one day in February, Tyson met with 17 migrants from Venezuela, Mexico, and Colombia at their offices. Okay, this particular yogurt uh, founder offices in Manhattan and hired them to work at Tyson's uh, Humboldt, Tennessee Park, uh, Park plant. Last week, Tyson reportedly hired 70 more migrants. Okay. Now, New York has seen an influx of more than eight. Wow. Uh, 180,000 illegal migrants over the past two years creating a crisis that has strained um, the city's budget and caused officials to plead for federal help. Then it goes on to say that Tyson, okay, already employs about 42,000 immigrants and refugees, although it is not clear how many are in the country illegally. Hmm. We would like to employ another 42,000 if we could find them. It seems like they're finding them. Uh, Garrett Dolan, which is a human resource leader at Tyson, which told Bloomberg. Then it goes on to say, we're recognizing there's not a lot of people that are going to be working labor manufacturing jobs that are American. Hmm. Dolan said, adding that many of the new hires are going to come from refugees and immigrants. So we're now in the business of strategically thinking that through. Now, Tyson has a high turnover rate for fr 